Once upon a time, deep in the woods, there lived a little girl and her mother. The little girl was given the nickname Little Red because of a red cloak her mother had given to her. One day, Little Red's mother told her to go deliver some food to her grandmother. She lived deep in the woods, even deeper than they did. Little Red took a basket and traveled through the forest. She was excited to see her grandma, for this was the first time that she had traveled there without her mother. When she reached her grandma's house, she found her waiting in her bedroom. Little Red walked in, carrying the basket. Hello, Grandma! Why, hello, Little Red. Mother told me to bring you food. Little Red held up a basket full of wine and cake for her grandma. What a good girl you are. But since I'm a bit sick, I need your help to eat it. She reached into a drawer and took out a doorknob that was black as night. Grandma put the doorknob on her stomach. Open it, Little Red. Little Red went in and found herself trapped in an endless void of darkness. Grandma, I'd like to come out now. Stay there, little one. I'm not done yet. Please, Grandma, let me out. Little Red dropped the basket, watched it sink into the darkness. Grandma, I don't like this. Let me out. Please, let me leave. Little Red ran out the door and out of her grandma's stomach. She felt cold and empty. The wicked smile on her grandma's face sent chills down her spine. I enjoyed that very much, Little Red. Come back again soon. Unsure how to explain what had happened to her, Little Red went home. She didn't say anything to her mother. How could she? Who had ever believed that her kindly grandma had done something like this? Little Red could hardly believe that it happened. But why did it happen? Why did grandma do that? Little Red returned to her grandma's house again and again. Each time, she went into that dark place within her stomach. It never stopped feeling as horrible as it did the first time. Eventually, Little Red got an idea. She asked her mother to bring more wine and cakes, but she secretly put holly berries in the wine in hopes of poisoning her grandma. She walked inside the house, the door on her grandma's stomach already open and waiting. Grandma took the wine and cakes as she did that very first time, but something changed. Those strange moans did not come. Instead, Hollyberries, you tried to poison me, you ugly witch! I don't like this and I want you to let me out! Never! I will keep you here for the rest of your pathetic life. You should have been grateful that I gave you a way out. Now you will never leave. Little Red sobbed. She couldn't bear the thought of staying inside her grandma's stomach forever. But, after all her tears had been shed, she did the only thing she could think of. She began to climb. What are you doing? I can't breathe. Please, no, little Red, stop it. You're going to kill me. Red. Little Red returned home showing her mother the black doorknob silently. It lived trapped inside a wooden trunk forever after.